Okay, um, this is going to be a tutorial on PLL, all the PLL cases, so it would be full PLL. There's 21 cases, and I'll go over each one, show the algorithm, and um, all that stuff. Okay, um, the first PLL case is the A perm. And I'll just give you a full area of view of it. Uh, how you can tell that it's the A perm is that it would have like a kind of like a one by two block here. Like all the edges are already finished. There's just three corners that need to be swapped. So then you put the one by two block on the front left side, and then the two there's two colors in the back that are the same color so in this case it's green and green so you put it on the back side and do this algorithm right inverted front right inverted back twice right front inverted right inverted back twice right twice Okay, now let's get on to the next algorithm. The next algorithm is really similar. It's the inverse of that algorithm, or the A perm. So this is A perm B. So it looks very similar. You put in the same position, the front and left side, like the one by two pair. But this time, the two colors, two corner colors that match are on the right side. And then you do this algorithm right twice, back twice, right, front, right inverted, back twice, right, front inverted, right. Okay, this is the E perm. Let's get a full area view of it. How you can tell that it's the E perm is that every, like all the edges, aren't spot, proper spot. And if you look on each side, the colors are opposite, so there's green and green and blue, orange and red, green and blue and orange and red, like the corners. So then what you do, X inverted, and now what you're looking for is you look at the spot on the top left, that's a blue, and you look right next to it, and if the green, since the green's opposite to blue, you're you're at the wrong side. So turn it 90 degrees. So then red, and red. If you don't do this, you'll end up with an H perm, and you've got to fix that. So then you do this algorithm. You do right, up inverted, right inverted, down, right up right inverted, down inverted, right, up, right inverted, down, right, up, inverted, right inverted, down inverted. Okay, this next PLL case looks like this. Get a full area view of it. And this is called the U-perm. And um, how you can tell that it's a U perm is one side is completely solved, and then all the corners are solved. So what you do is you put the solved side on the back. Now you look at the front side at the sticker from the edge piece that needs to be turned so it's orange you look for the orange side which is to the right so it's going to be the right algorithm so then you do this algorithm right up inverted right up right up right up inverted right inverted up inverted right twice now on to the next algorithm this one's very similar it looks the same exact way 
the only you do the same thing you put the soft side on the back the only difference is you look at the red or the front side red is to the left red left so we're gonna do the left algorithm so do this algorithm left inverted up left inverted up inverted left inverted up inverted left inverted up left up left twice and that solves it okay now on to the next one okay um, this next one's the Z perm and it looks like this how you can tell that it's a Z perm is all the corners are solved there is no x no third side that's solved and if you look at the front side there's an orange and then this to the right it's green so orange and green and then red and blue so it's these two need to be switched and these two need to be switched so what you do is you put the cube in the position so that the two edges that need to be flipped or switched are on the front and right side or else you'll end up with a parity so then you do this algorithm m2 u m2 u m inverted u2 m2 u2 m inverted u2 okay this next one it's the h perm it looks like this and how you can tell it's the h perm is that all the corners are solved and the edges need to be switched like the each side the colors are opposite the so blue green red orange green blue orange red and you get this case randomly and also if you do the e or z perm incorrectly so then this is very easy to solve so the algorithms m2 u m2 u2 m2 u m2